everyone, I'm Amber Clark, an environmental scientist here at Pismo Beach. And this morning we're here in the Monarch Grove, um, where typically we'll have thousands of butterflies in the morning. And we like to come early in the morning because it's nice and cold and the butterflies stay in their clusters, making them easier to count. Typically, when we come out in the morning, we'll try and walk around, find where all the butterflies are. Um, we've numbered all our trees so that when we do find butterflies, we know where they're at. And we'll count them depending on the size of the cluster. We count them differently. And we take a measurement on how high they are off the ground. And then we'll put that all on a map and share it with other scientists so that they can do studies to figure out what the best environment is for butterflies. So today we're out counting butterflies and we come out every couple of weeks. Um, we start in mid-November, which is today, and um, our first two, two counts will be counted as um, part of the Thanksgiving count. That is a count that lots of sites do across the coast of California, and it gives kind of an overall population count of the butterflies. And if we all do it within a, the same window, then we are less likely to be double counting butterflies so that you're getting a more accurate count of the population itself. So while I'm counting here, people will be counting up in Monterey or down in Santa Barbara so that we're all counting near the same time. Um, and then I'll continue to come out every couple of weeks throughout the time period butterflies are here, which so is typically mid-November through, through mid-February. Um, they start leaving, I think, around mid-January, mid-February, and the numbers start to reduce. So, when they're gone, I obviously don't count anymore. So, to count butterflies, I use my binoculars. I can see them with my, with my naked eye, but it helps to have my binoculars because then I can see each individual butterfly a lot easier. Um, so I'll put my binoculars up while I'm looking at the butterflies and I'll count them individually when there's a few and when there's a lot we'll round more so the numbers aren't quite as accurate at that time. So another tool we use is an anemometer. It will measure how high the butterflies are from the um, ground. So in the past we would just estimate using our knowledge of height but this is more accurate, so it gives us a better measurement of how high it is. 